Peter Molyneux's reputation has gone down the drain. Let me know where you stand in the comments below. But first, my opinion. I'm Tarmac, and this is Feature Creep. When a rock, paper, shotgun interview opens with the question, do you think that you're a pathological liar? You know it's going to be an interesting read. In fact, John Walker interviewing Peter Molyneux is probably the most brutal and yet elegant interview in the game industry that has ever been conducted. I'll link it below in case you want to check it out after my banter. What started the current Molyneux drama was an interview from Eurogamer with Brian Henderson, who you probably don't know about. He was the 18-year-old kid who tapped the last block in Curiosity, thus cementing his utterly life-changing, or so Molyneux claimed, prize of being the god of gods in the goddess game, along with a revenue share during his tenure. Turns out that now, two years later, Henderson was being largely ignored by 22 cans and hadn't received a dime because the god of gods feature isn't in the game yet. As someone who writes agreements for a living, I appreciate the clever nuance of tying an outside revenue share to a late-in-development feature. It ensures that the rev share could be cut at any time if the project was going poorly. These sorts of legal tricks are often very intentional. By and large, Goddess is a failure. The Kickstarter raised half a million pounds in backer money, still needed a publisher despite Molyneux's claims that the Kickstarter was their way of avoiding publishers, and a bit over two years later, the PC version is still not launched. This is followed by a portion of the team moving on to a new game called The Trail, and a comment that the team can't see itself delivering all of the features promised on the Kickstarter page, including backer pledge rewards. Now, as we all know by this point, kickstarting a game is not buying a game. So arguing for refunds is a bit moot, as in most cases you're taking that chance. However, as soon as you get into the physical reward range for pledging, it has instantly become a purchase. You are pledging money, but you are buying physical goods, and as a result, not getting those goods and not getting a refund as well actually puts the transaction into the potential realm of fraud. If you sell someone a thing, you kind of have to give them the thing. It's how business works. This whole issue really boils down to the sordid tale of who Peter Molyneux really is. He's an amazing ideas guy, but the problem is that by all indications and his own admission, he has no filter, which leads him to talk about all those grandiose ideas in interviews and other public venues, which inevitably leads to more assertions about the future of particular titles than the teams who work for him can actually implement. The recent interviews like this Rock Paper Shotgun one, The Guardian, and others, Molyneux often resorts to the sympathy card, expounding on how hard he and his team work when asked direct questions not related to workload, which is a very political way of speaking. He also more than once asked whether the interviewer just wanted to see him gone from the industry. And that is really the point that I wanted to boil down to. In this whole amazing unfortunate issue, Peter will constantly verbally take responsibility for all of the failings, and yet, there is an undertone that betrays his lack of understanding of why we're all so upset with him. He can't truly take responsibility if he doesn't grasp why people are mad, and it just becomes lip service. The fact of the matter is that as a game designer, the man has incredible ideas. He's a genuine video game visionary in a lot of ways, and John from RPS exclaimed multiple times in the interview that of course we don't want Molyneux out of the industry. However, what needs to stop happening is the overhyped nonsense which got us here in the first place. The same hype that resulted in Watch Dogs, which is actually quite a good game, being panned in a lot of places because it wasn't as good as Ubisoft claimed, is also the hype that has been created by Molyneux his entire career. His games are good games, some of them even great, but they all suffer because by the time they come out, they aren't as good as he told us they were going to be. What other games do you think were hyped beyond expectations? Write some comments down below so we can discuss it. If you enjoy Feature Creep, tap that subscribe button and maybe check out some more in the playlist. That's all I have to say. Tarmac out. <laughs>